world is filled with amazing places, and Hvar, Croatia is one of them. Beautifully situated in the Adriatic Sea, this lovely island offers stunning blue water, amazing hilltop views, and unforgettable boat tours that will take your breath away. Oh, this is so crazy! Oh! So stay tuned as we show you all the amazing things Havar has to offer, all in this episode of Lucas World Travel. To get there, we took the Yadralina Ferry from Split to Havar Town. And boy, were we happy to check in to this cozy apartment with a sea view. Our first day in Havar, we decided to get a lay of the land by climbing up to the top of the Spanish fortress. Super cool. And unfortunately, you cannot take an elevator to the fortress. It's stairs, stairs, and uphill climb. So, we look forward to burning some calories. Let's go. I don't know, I'll take my jacket off. So the trail up to the fortress is quite nice. You get to see herbs, cacti, and all these beautiful trees. It's about a 20 minute climb. Let's see how we do. Ah, they offer loungers. So I'm gonna try it out. That's actually not bad at all. Plus I get a lovely sea view. Well, that lounger was refreshing, but we're back on track and almost there. So the Venetians started building this fortress in the 1200s, but it took 300 years to build. It wasn't finished until the 1500s. At one time, the townspeople used the fortress to protect themselves against the Turkish who were invading and burning the island. The townspeople waited in the fortress until the invasion was over, and then they went back to rebuild the city. So this place offers not only great views, but a great story that is definitely a must-see when you come to Havar. The next day, we decided to do a bit of island hopping. So another thing we highly recommend in Havar is taking a boat tour. So today we're going to be taking the Blue Cave Tour, which includes going to Vis Island and seeing all the different blue and green waters that this area has to offer. first because they said the water level might get too high to go in the afternoon. Fingers crossed we can get in to see it. We're just waiting on a boat transfer trying to get a smaller boat to go into the cave. <laughs> it's splashed a little bit. It's a little splashy. Yeah. You can even see the water on the camera. Now I see why they said the water level would be too high in the afternoon to go. It looks too high now. Oh, we're gonna have to duck down to go into this tiny, tiny, tiny cave. I might need to lose more weight to fit into this cave. Everybody duck. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh, this is so crazy. Oh. <laughs> And we're in! <laughs> Can we come up now? 
Welcome to my office. <laughs> this is your home office, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it really does glow. That's crazy. And this hole right here gives the cave its signature blue color. The sunlight shines in, reflects off the white sand, and lights up the whole cave with this disco blue color. It's unreal that a natural blue wonder like this even exists. So it's definitely a must see when you come to Havar. Next stop, Beast Island. So we just landed in the town of Kumija on the island of Vis in Croatia. Now this town is famous for them filming Mamma Mia here. Now you think that being a Greek story, they would film it in Greece, but no, they filmed it right here in Croatia. And we can see why. It's a very cute, picturesque town. Now we get an hour and a half on the island to explore. So we're heading to Gusta Rica Beach to enjoy the view and eat our lunch. So a seven minute walk from the main part of town is Gusta Rica Beach. When the sunlight hits the water, it is beautiful. The sun came out at the perfect time. That was just for you, YouTube. This beach is showing out for you. <laughs> so our tour didn't include lunch. So we got some sandwiches from our favorite bakery, Molinar, and are just in sitting and enjoying this view. Depending on how cold the water is, we might actually get in. And just like that, David's ready to go in the water. Hmm. You serious about swimming it out? What's the verdict? Cold. Cold is the verdict. <laughs> <laughs> On this dive, David saw lots of tiny fish that are almost invisible to the camera. Can you spot them? Let us know in the comments below. So David was the brave one today, taking one for the team and going into the water for us. But I know if I get this swimsuit wet and get back on the boat, I might freeze to death. I think there's one spot where we're going to go to a blue lagoon, so I'm saving up for that. After this relaxing stop on Vis, we headed to the beautiful blue lagoons of Paklinski Islands. I've never seen water such a vibrant turquoise color before. And the water is so clear. It's like you're floating in mid-air. This boat tour was a real highlight of our time on Havar, so make sure not to skip it. It's worth every penny. Now that we explored the islands, it's only fair that we check out some of the beautiful beaches on Havar itself. So to the right of the port, there's this lovely beach line promenade. So you can walk down here and choose any of the beach access points you like. There are several. This one is called Boney Beach and offers a lot of space to spread out. Closer to our Airbnb though is Majerovica Beach. Now, this one is not worth going out of your way to get to because it's so tiny. But boy, did we love the view here. So we're very lucky this time that our accommodation has a nice sea view and it's just steps away from the beach. But mid-October, just a little too chilly for my taste to get into the water. I think I'm going to leave the swimming to David today. <laughs> the sun feels nice, so I'm just going to sunbathe and take in some vitamin D. The next day, the sun went into hiding. Nonetheless, we decided to hike up to the Napoleon Fortress. So this is the thing. Google Maps suggests that you take the long way around and walk on the road to get to the Napoleon Fort. But 
that's 50 minutes out of the way. So we're going to try this nature trail to see if we can get there faster. Just off the side of the road here. And you'll see this little tiny sign saying Napoleon Fort. And I believe it's saying it's 25 minutes which is much better than 50 minutes. So let's see if we can make this happen. So far, the trail's been clearly marked with those red and white little markers. So feeling good, we'll get there. So we're not quite there, but it has a great view already. So as you can see, the little arrow points this way. And the higher we go, the more of the Pakwini Islands you can see. Lots of expansive views up here. And just like that, we made it to the road. The sign is telling us the fort is up this road. So we reached the top, but unfortunately, the gates were closed of the fortress. Nonetheless, we found a park bench and the view, it's still worth it really an amazing view the earth looks round from here you can see the bend in the horizon so keep in mind that the napoleon fortress in and of itself is not a tourist attraction it's an observatory and is not open to the public so you won't be able to go inside the fortress but i dare say it's still worth the climb just for the view alone and if you like nature trails this is a nice one we made it back to the main road safe and sound and it really did take us 25 minutes up and 25 minutes down no going faster going down uh, but it was a nice well laid out trail and I highly recommend it just to be a part of the nature and to see the view. Did you say it was strenuous? Going up was a bit strenuous, but coming down, it was pretty easy in my opinion. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. David has one bead of sweat coming down his cheek right there. <laughs> the other famous bead of sweat, that's right. So you're gonna sweat a little, even if you got your winter coat on, but it is worth it. So today we decided to take the bus from Havar town to Starigrad, a neighboring town on the island. So let's see what it's like. Once we arrived, the first thing we did was to take a stroll down the Riva Promenade. This picturesque waterway is lined with boats and colorful row houses that are beautiful to see. At the end of the promenade is Lanterna Beach, which has a lovely view and is a nice place to swim too. Which one are you, Rose or Jack? I'm Jack. You're Jack? Okay. <laughs> so now we're at Trivadje Fortress. This is the private residence of Croatian poet Petar Hektorovic, and he has a lovely home and garden. So when you come, they give you a little guide so you can know what these inscriptions right here are saying. This one by the fish pond says, built by uprightness and still working together. So this house was my favorite stop in Starigrad because of the deeper meaning behind the inscriptions and the lovely garden. For the price of 20 kunas, it's definitely worth a walk around. Walking back through the old town, we took a quick stop at St. Stephen's Square before heading up to our last stop, the White Cross. So now we're going all the way to the top of that hill where the cross is for the best view of the city. 
Now Google Maps is right about 90% of the time, but it is wrong about this um, big white cross. Uh, for this one, just follow the sign up the hill and it'll take you on a nice paved road, more direct route to get there. So the trail is marked with red paint and it's been pretty clear so far once you get into the more wooded trail. And after a few minutes of climbing, already there's a nice view of the Starry Grad Plains. And will you look at that? We got here so much quicker than expected. So we're very glad we ended our time here in Hovar and Starry Grad. This town feels very friendly. You'll see the locals walking around and it seems like they're chatting with each other like they're continuing the conversation they had yesterday. We loved Hovar's relaxed vibe and beautiful landscapes. Whether from afar or up close and personal, this island doesn't have any bad angles and was an unforgettable part of our Croatian journey. So please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to see even more of our journey throughout Croatia. Next week we're taking you to Dubrovnik and you don't want to miss it. Well that's our journey. Good luck in planning yours. The private residence of Poet. Viktorovic. This is the private residence of Croatian pro uh, of Croatian poet um, Pet Petar Hektorovic.